Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a, a new feature that the Bubble team uh, just released a few hours ago, and it's to help you uh, show the password strength for your uh, inputs for, for password. And this right here is from the, the Bubble forum where Emmanuel is uh, announcing the, uh, the new feature here. And it's a conditional um, that you can put into uh, your, your uh, password. And basically, you can detect um, whether it's a weak password or medium password or strong password. And what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to implement that uh, in your app. Now, this here is uh, an earlier design that I have for uh, creating a uh, password. So I've got this simple uh, pop-up here. And all I've done is I've added a text field here. So it's just a simple text field. And in it, I have a uh, default value of weak password. And I've color-coded it, so I've made it uh, red. And then basically what we have, I should also mention that uh, the default value uh, is when the element is visible on page low to, to not show it. So when you, when you add a text, like this text here, this, uh, this is clicked off so that it is visible on page load, but I've got this checked off so that it is not visible on page load. And the reason being is because I have this conditional here uh, when input create password, and that's this input create password right here. So when the value is not empty, so that means somebody's started to type in a password, then I make this visible, this weak password text visible. And then this is where the, the new part of it comes in from the bubble team. So when the input create password, password strength is greater than or equal to 40, and I just arbitrarily picked 40. The range on this is, uh, I think it was zero to 100. Uh, so with 100, 100 being the strongest password, uh, zero being the weakest. So I just arbitrarily picked a, a value of 40 in here. And when that condition is met, then I type uh, the uh, text field changes to medium password. And I've changed the color on that as well to give a visual cue. And then what I've got is another one on here. So when the input create passwords, password strength is greater than 80, then I go and say, hey, this is a strong password. Again, got the color change on there. Now, let me just go and show you how I did this. So what I've done is I've went and define another condition, and then when, and then the input create password. So this is what's new right here password strength and then is greater than or equal to and then whatever value you want uh, and that's basically and then you can go and change the um, the different parameters so what i clicked on here or what i chose on here was text okay and then basically uh, the default value is from the let me scroll up here from here, it takes the default value of weak password here, and you just go in and change it to whatever you want. Whatever you want to say. Just like that. And that's basically all you have to do. You can change the um, uh, this to a different font if you wanted to as well, font size, and, and whatever you, you feel like you need to do for your app. Um, I would play around with the different values. Again, I, I just picked 40 and 80 for this. Um, and you can pick whatever you would like. Now let's just kind of go and do a demo. I'm just going to slide over to this page here. And basically, so create an account. And basically for the password, so if I, I type in a character again, so first character, the weak password shows up. And I'm just randomly picking different characters in here. Okay, so it's hit the trigger point of 40. So now it's going to be medium password and a couple more. And I got strong password. Uh, and that's, that's basically it. So I'm just deleting here, as you can see, and it changes the value. So this is a um, automatically generated password. I'm just going to click that. And it says it's a strong password, strong password. Um, so again, 
you can type in whatever you want on here and um, change the settings for these values here. So I think, you know, just play around with it, see what, uh, what you're comfortable with. Try a couple of different uh, passwords and um, see uh, what the values um, should be set up, I think. Uh, let me go over here. Um, they had it set up, yeah, so on this uh, demo, they had it set up for 80, so I just kind of took that for a strong password as well. Um, and then the 40 was just uh, kind of arbitrary, half of 80, and just picked it for the, for the medium. And that's it. Um, a quick demo uh, to show you how to add some uh, uh, nice user experience for your input for password. Uh, if you like the video, uh, I do appreciate the thumbs up. I have more videos in the pipeline, so if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified of when those videos come out. Uh, I do appreciate you watching to the end here, and uh, with that, I'll see you in the next video.